Why the internet seems hostile to women. Hashtag not all. Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and if you are on the internet at all, you've definitely heard numerous times that the internet is a hostile place for women. Feminist bloggers say that they are attacked ceaselessly for the crime of being a woman with an opinion online, and countless individual women that I have come into contact with agree. While everybody important has heard by now that the most reputable research organization, Pew, conducted a survey a few years ago which found that men actually receive more harassment and abuse than women on social media, this certainly hasn't stopped women from making this claim. Maybe it's what is known as the threat narrative that inspires women to believe that they are in danger when they aren't, or that they are victims when they haven't been victimized. Both are explanations that many anti-feminists posit to justify where this endless rhetoric comes from. However, I think that the best way to look at this phenomenon would be to examine what types of women keep making these allegations and what types of women they might be referring to when they say that women are treated negatively on the internet. Because prior to fourth wave feminism hitting the scene alongside social media, women weren't often complaining about poor treatment in the Western world. That being said, let's look at three women that have gotten a lot of negative treatment on social media that various different feminists would probably classify as abuse. Anita Sarkeesian of the Gamergate controversy, Asia Argento of the hashtag MeToo controversy, and Hillary Clinton. Each of these women got a lot of heat online, and a lot of people said that it was sexist in motivation, but I want to ask you a question. What do these three women all share in common, in terms of what exactly they were attacked for? If you're rational, you already know the answer. These women were accused of being liars, over and over. Anita Sarkeesian was essentially a con artist who was proven to have lied about being a video game fan, along with several other things that she was caught red-handed doing or saying dishonestly. Asia Argento has been accused of lying and changing her story after she had a consensual relationship with Harvey Weinstein, which she later said was raped, changing her story to call herself a victim, and is now accusing her own accuser of sexual misconduct which is probably untrue considering he was 17 at the time. Hillary Clinton is, of course, Hillary Clinton. Everybody knows that that woman lies all the time. That being said, in the seeming dramatic majority of instances of women claiming to be victims of the internet, the main stated reason that these people get attacked mostly has to do with the fact that people are calling them liars. And after realizing that, a light went on in my head. You see, the internet never forgets, and it's much easier to prove that somebody is a liar on the internet, such as what happened when Emma Sokowitz, aka Mattress Girl, was proven to be lying about having been raped by the young man that she pursued that was not interested in her. Thus, I have to wonder if what is really happening is that women are getting caught lying more and more, and it makes them furious because these women lied very regularly prior to social media, but merely managed to get away with it until the past few years because it's relatively easy for women to dishonestly manipulate their social environments IRL, but not so easy on social media. As anybody logical can determine, women have a much higher likelihood to be able to both get sympathy after lying as well as get away with lying, due to less high stakes regarding what might happen if a woman were to get caught lying by, say, an aggressive and potentially physically violent male who is not allowed to beat up women. She can easily just lie about a dude, and he can't really do a whole lot about it unless he can absolutely prove it, which is rare. He can't even really get mad at her, because if he does, she can fake distress. Truthfully, due to the double standards of how easy it is for women and girls to lie successfully in real life and how much they can benefit from doing so, it must come as a huge shock to learn that people can easily prove them to be liars on the internet. 
Obviously, almost nobody is attacking them simply because they are women, as men who lie on the internet get called out probably even worse than females do. However, if it seems to women that it always seems to be females that are getting attacked for lying on the internet, then maybe there's truth to that. And maybe these women should think long and hard about why that is. I mean... I don't have the numbers, but maybe females just happen to lie more often in general, and they're getting caught. <laughs>